34-2 coming in. Needs 14-11 to take the lead from Pinckneyville, Illinois. Duke Jinkle, let's give him a big round of applause. Sit him right there, my friend. How are you? I'm pretty good, man. Awesome week. It has. You know, I told uh, I told the guys when we were standing in line, win, lose, or draw, or however this shakes out, it has been, you know, an amazing week. Fished clean. I, I think I broke two fish off all week. I'm not even certain they would have helped me at all. I know the one yesterday wouldn't have. So, you know, when you can when you can compete for three days, be fortunate enough to make the third day, and know that you fished clean all three days, you, you can't ask for anything more than that. It's just a blessing and, and a ticket to be here. You know how this works. You've been here plenty of times. Almost 30 events with us. Look at him. He's got his foot propped up on that water bottle over there. He doesn't want to give that seat up, and you've got to take it from him. Let's get them out one at a time. You need 14 dollars $58,000 in winnings, 27 events. Looking for his first win, fish number one. Second top ten. Three championships. Digging for fish number two. Fish number two. Whoa. That's a good fish. That is a chunk. Digging for fish number three. Needing 14 11. Fish number three. Digging for fish number four, needing 14 pounds, 11 ounces. Whoa, there's another one of those. Fish number four. What about his five bass limit, folks? Let's see what he's got. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Five bass limit. You need 14 pounds, 11 ounces to get that seat. A five bass limit today that weighs. 18 pounds, three ounces. Wow, kind of showed out. Well, you know, I, I, uh, my buddy called me on the way to the ramp this morning. He said, what do you think, man? What do you think? I said, dude, I looked at that top ten and I'm swimming in a pool of Lake of the Ozark Sharks. I said, you know, I think there's one other boy from Arkansas that was in ninth place. Uh, but other than that, it's a who's who of the LOZ. And, uh, you know, and I, I said, dude, if I can just get me five and, and maintain status quo is where I didn't want to go backwards. And uh, I don't think I'm going to go backwards. You know, I, I think I'll hang on to fifth or better. I don't know where it's going to shake out. But... Uh, you know, it's been, uh, it, like I said, it's been an amazing week. Got a great group of friends at home, you know, watching. So it, it, it's been cool. Uh, How'd you catch them? You know, there's a lot of docks on this lake. Yeah. I, I know, I know, brace yourself. That's hard to believe. I flipped docks um, all week. And, and I'll be honest with you, the first three days, my, uh, my buddy texted me and he said, what do you think? I said, if I can get him to give me half my money back, I'm going home. You know, it was terrible. But I spent too much time in the wrong section of the lake. And Wednesday, I typically don't practice. I get my stuff ready, but I didn't have nothing to get ready. So I went to the lake again, and uh, I got in the right section and, and, and had about four bites, four nice fish by about 11 o'clock. And I, I told the boy with me, I said, let's go. I said, we don't need to catch another one to know we're coming this way. And uh, as the day, typically Thursday, we took off. That storm had me a little bit spooked. I don't, I don't care for weather like that. So I started in a marina, knowing that, hey, I got a place I can hide if the lightning gets bad. And it was on like Donkey Kong. They were biting in there like crazy. And uh, got a limit at about 10.30. I said, all right, let's go see what we can do. And I cold up twice out on the lake. And so yesterday, I said, well, I, I might as well go start where I started yesterday. And, you know, the first day, and, and it, again, flipping marina docks. And uh, I caught them again, you know. And, it was a little slow off the start, and then I, I caught some nice ones, and then I caught up one almost five pounds, and I'm like, 11 o'clock, I left there again, and went out on the lake, and I cooled up twice, and uh, I'm like, well, we got a pretty good noon, I was done. I, I really was concerned about, I knew I had enough weight to make the cut, so we came back down on the lower end of the lake, and, and that's where I cooled the second time, and then today I said, well, we're going to dance with who brought us, and I went right back up to that marina again, and started fishing again, and and caught two big ones, just two of those bigger fish just right then. And uh, I told my partner, I said, I don't believe we'll burn any more gas today until it's time to go home, and that's exactly what we did. It just, it got a lot tougher today. Folks, you notice we've talked here about five minutes, and I haven't heard one single color 
One single bite. <laughs> they want to know how you caught them. I flipped a worm. Uh, sometimes I flipped a Zoom Magnum finesse worm. I had another, you know, a thick finesse worm that I flipped that I'm probably not going to talk about. The uh, I threw a gambler tube, a green pumpkin with blue tails. And, and really, it, it, that's the same baits I threw early in the week when I couldn't catch one. It just was about getting in the right part of the lake where, where the fish were acting and things were going on. And that's, that's what did it. That's what allowed me to get on them fish. It, it, and I need to thank Danny Moorhead. I travel with Danny Moorhead and Scott Suggs, and, and I want to thank them both. Um, Dan saw that my, my bottom lip was dragging the ground because I couldn't get one, you know, and he said, hey, he said, you, what docks you, what, what part of the lake you been in? And I told him, he said, I, I think I'd relocate if I was you. And, and he, he didn't say go here and throw at this dock, or, but, but he gave me a range of the lake that I ought to go look in. And, and, I, and I owe him a lot for that, you know, that, that was a class act on his part. Absolutely. I know you got some great sponsors you want to thank also. Without a doubt, Lunker Lure. Uh, you know, this is a jig lake, day in, day out. These guys, I'm, 